All right, good morning, second grade students. Today for social studies, we are going to be talking about goods and services and the concept of using and producing those goods and services. All right, so chapter one is on goods. Goods are things that people buy with money. Hannah buys eggs for breakfast. Brandon buys a book to read. Those are examples of goods. Making goods. Many goods are made in factories. Then they go to stores for people to buy them. Maria buys a toy at a store. The toy was made in a factory. Sometimes goods are sold by the people who make them. An artist makes a painting. She sells it to someone by herself. The painting doesn't have to go to a store first. Services. A server brings dinner to people at a restaurant. A mechanic fixes someone's car. A doctor checks someone's health. Servers, mechanics, and doctors all provide services. They work to do things for other people. They are paid money for their work. The way all people act together to make, buy, and sell goods and services is called the economy. Providing services. Sometimes people pay directly for a service. Lynn pays her piano teacher for lessons. A person buying goods or services is called a consumer. Sometimes people pay indirectly for a service. Marcus goes to a bakery to buy bread, which is a good. But Marcus is also paying the baker for the service of baking the bread. When people buy goods at a store, the store gets money. The store uses some of the money to pay its cashiers. The cashiers provide a service to people shopping at the store. So we have kind of a timeline here of how this works. So in one, it says a toy is a good. It was made in a factory. And then two, the toy is sent to a store for people to buy it. And then three, a cashier helps Emma's mom buy the toy. The cashier provides a service. And then lastly, number four, Emma gets to bring the toy home. All right, and that is our book today on goods and services.